All right, at Fort Valley United Methodist in Fort Valley, Georgia, it is amazing to be a part of these guys' world. Now, we're at, we've done a, a, quite a few projects for them over time, and the newest project we did is the video. As you can see above my head here, the new Sony Robotic 1080p PTZ robotic cameras. We did two of those, two camcorders, and the whole idea is they wanted to get really heavy duty into their video editing and making DVDs and doing streaming. Their, the next project we're gonna do here is gonna be video monitoring in here so the congregation can benefit from all the new video. But it is super cool to take a church like this. I mean, you have no idea what it took to put that there. This is over a hundred years old, concrete and plaster and solid giant wood beams up here. It was amazing to see my five men come in here and do what they did. We put about 16 hours into this, but wow, wait, you see, I'm going to show you the video room next. These guys have got it going on. All right, I'm in the video room for Fort Valley United Methodist Church is so amazing. I love the way they do their things. And they are very heavy into video editing and making their own DVDs and the streaming side of their church as they have grown. I've done a lot of work at their place and these guys really know their stuff. Now, here's the cool thing. We did Sony 32-inch 1080p flat panels. As you can tell, the picture quality is amazing. We did Sony PTZ Robotic 1080p cameras. We did two of those. And then we did two of these new Canon high-definition camcorders because they need some to be portable to go in and out of the church with. But they they have like tripods around the church where they can do it. Now, the coolest thing is all the cameras are controlled from this Sony robotic controller. This is the joystick controller. This and this, which here's so cool. This is Adderall. This is Roland's new eight channel T-bar. Now, what the reason you need a T-bar is, watch this. What it is, is right here's my preview and this is what I'm recording on. So as I transition over, it's just not some flicker flicker thing. I can actually transition over just like you would see in a professional newsroom, which is really nice. And what it is, it allows me to take my scripture and put it on DVD and it allows me to take my camera and see what's going on there. I also can change camera views as you see now. And what this allows me to do is now I have full control so they can zoom in on the pastor. As you can see, look at the clarity of that. Is that crazy? Or then you can flip over to camera two and then you have full control over the camera two as well so you can see your congregation. Very nice, right? Now, when you're recording, you also have to worry about audio. Check this out. Yamaha's new 24 channel. I really love the way this sounds. And we tied this into the mixer that's down in the main sanctuary. And the idea behind this is as we're feeding the DVD recorder, this allows us to fine tune microphones, keep feedback out, keep hiss out and stuff like that. So they can fine tune their audio, they can fine tune their video, they can change from PTZ to camcorder to PTZ, they can throw up their scripture through ProPresenter, which every bit of this is done by us. And the coolest thing about this is from this room, they don't have to even walk out into the sanctuary, so that way they can do all their video editing and nobody's looking out there going, hey, is it all working? I mean, it works like it's supposed to work. Now let's talk about pricing. ProPresenter starts at about 500 bucks, best software package there is on the planet for that price. We have a package that comes with a laptop and all, and depending on your price, preferences there. You know, it can be anywhere from 500 to 2200 depending on what you want. The joystick controllers go anywhere from 800 to about 1500 depending on quality. PTZ cameras start at about $400 all the way up to the big boy 1080p's which are not $400. And DVD recorders are a couple hundred bucks. The new T-bar switches are anywhere from 1200 bucks and up. So let me, let me just, and the reason I throw all that out there is it is very affordable for your church to be on the high-tech side of things.